On Thursday, April 6, 2023, officers of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, or FWC, descended upon the facility of Bill McAdam in Palm Beach County, Florida, with the intent of killing pythons that they considered to be prohibited species, which were owned by Chris Coffey. Coffey had a large collection of both reticulated and Burmese pythons, which were possessed legally with a conditional species permit before FWC made that permit obsolete by passing prohibited species rules in 2021. Therefore, his animals should have been grandfathered in and exempt from the new regulations. In the process of killing Coffey's pythons, the officers misidentified and killed a pregnant female boa constrictor belonging to McAdam. Boa constrictors are legal to own in Florida and are among the most popular pet snakes. When it was all said and done, 35 snakes were dead, including the 10-year-old pet boa constrictor. This event has become known as the Holy Thursday Massacre. Warning, the images and language that follow are disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I've only I've handled one python. Okay. Do you want to practice one of these? Are you going to do that? Yeah, he can do it. He don't need to practice. Okay. So we'll tell you. So there's... Can you lift this up? No, no, no. You pull this as a safety. Oh, you hold it. And then you just smack, like you hit down, and eventually it'll groove. Boom! Because it's a like a shot. comes and out and comes back in. So it shoots in, and then it comes back into it, so and you'll, you'll notice. The snake has the two eyes in front, mm -hmm. and you see where the back of the jaws are, right? Where they stick out there. Yeah. And X right between in there, and that's where you want to put it. Between okay. the eyes and the back so of the jaw. X and the eyes and the back of the jaw. Yep. Right. Put it right in the center and bang it. Yeah. Uh, he says, I have to douse that island. Oh, I thought it was you. No. Well, no, he said this one's like his baby. Oh. Chris, the one on the right? The big, the puppy, right? Okay, so give me a hook. Yeah, he said this one you can hook. Which one are you? What you gotta do is reach in, touch your head with the hook, and you'll know you're coming in to grab them, and that's it. Okay. I might need a new bag for these two. How full is that? 
Is there a way to maybe save the babies? Oh no, dude! This guy's gonna go bananas! Oh my god! Why? It was a mistake. How? I reminded you I... ten times! Fix you can't fix it. Well, it you can't fix it. Well, just happened. You can get fixed. You can't fix it. You just killed something that wasn't illegal, and it had about a hundred thousand dollars worth of fucking babies. Uh, I want to make sure the public's aware that if you currently own one of these reptiles, you're allowed to keep it till its death. So no one's telling you 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 have to go get rid of your your uh, your pet or euthanize it. No one's gonna from the state's gonna take it away from you. So I think there's some misinformation out there, and I just want to clarify that for the for the people listening. If you currently own one of these reptiles, you're allowed to keep it. To its death. Uh, Chairman, you clarified from many of the callers raising concerns about what they do about their pets. Their pets are their pets. They will continue to be their pets. Um, and we made sure that it was very clear and it's unfortunate that misinformation was allowed to penetrate out there, um, that it, it was otherwise, because it, it gets people emotional and that gives me pause. <laughs> Please contact Governor DeSantis and tell him to hold FWC leadership accountable and also to order an immediate end to the killing of captive animals by FWC.